Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On a previous episode, I showed you my favorite floor mats for the Mustang Mach-E by 3D Max Spider. And on today's episode, I'm going to be showing you their front and trunk or rear cargo area mat that they offer for the Mach-E as well. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because we're coming right back at you. All right, everybody, well, welcome back. So like I was saying, both the trunk or rear cargo area and the frunk of the Mach-E. Now, this is the frunk mat, obviously, and this is pretty small, obviously, it just kind of sits inside the frunk area, just protects the plastic bottom from any type of scratches. Nothing real special here, but we'll see how the fit and finishes on this shortly. Now, this one here is for the cargo area. Now, obviously, this is not the full size because it folds out in four quadrants like so. And this is what you get for the rear cargo area. And this is pretty nice. And like I was saying on the previous episode for the front and rear mats, that they make such a nice uh, finish for these. They're lightweight, very durable outer layer here. And then the bottom is basically like one side of Velcro. So this will stick to the bottom uh, cargo, you know, surface or floor, if you will, and that will stop it from moving around. So this is really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this works. And of course, you know, with it being able to fold up like it is, if you ever needed to remove this from the car for any reason, you could just fold it up like that into quarters and, you know, just throw it into a corner. Or even if you had to fold it up and just throw it in your car somewhere else in like the front, maybe. Um, kind of allows you to do that, which is really nice. It just folds up in those quadrants like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get these in the car and see how they look. So let's start with the front and then we will uh, see what the rear looks like. Okay, so here we are at the front of the Mach-E. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the front trunk from my phone here. There we go. All right, so let's lift this up. So now this is the frunk area, which is, you know, a little small, but still useful in a lot of situations. Ideally, they like to use this as a cooler. So you can actually have uh, ice loaded here, have your cans or bottles or anything sitting in here. This is your drain hole right there for, you know, when the ice melts. And then of course you have these two cup holders right here inside, which is pretty neat. So maybe one day I'll actually find a, a use to have ice in here and you know, so on and so forth. But anyway, let's go ahead and get the frunk mat and see how it fits. All right, so as you can see, we have the frunk mat right here. Now it has these ledges in it here because in the frunk itself, it also has these ledges here. So let's see how this fits in here. Now, as this gets warm, it'll start to mold and form better to the frunk area, but yeah, that's pretty nice. Is it, is it useful? Eh, you know, that's up to you whether or not this is something you need for your car. I mean, you know, obviously if you ever want to do the whole ice thing, then you're going to want to take this out because you want the ice to drain down and out of that hole as opposed to, you know, into your mat. But, um, but yeah, maybe, I mean, if, you know, this might be something that you want to prevent scratches on something you put in here or maybe just prevent scratches to the bottom tray here. I mean, I, I, I can see... I can see some people wanting to have a use for this mat here. So yeah, we're gonna put this in this car because we want the whole set, let's face it. That looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and leave that in there and uh, we'll move on to the rear. All right, so here we are in the rear cargo area. Let's go ahead and set this in here like so. Wow, that is, uh, that is pretty nice actually. Look how it forms here. That's really nice. It forms perfectly around there. It gives you you know, a high spot here and then a low spot here for these hooks. So these hooks come out flat like so. That is really nice. I I think that looks great. Um, it doesn't block the, the little side storage trays here. So you still have access to these if you need them. If anything, it makes it a little deeper having this mat in here, which is kind of nice. But yeah, that looks great. Now let's test this because it doesn't give you an easy way to access, you know, lifting the tray anymore because this has a handle here so how would you do that i mean I, I suppose you can just lift it 
and lift this up. That would be one way of handling that situation. I think that might be why they also went with the something that is, you know, flexible into quadrants like so, because I guess you could just fold it over easily like that. And then, yeah, so then this way you can grab the, the handle still fairly easily. I don't really see an issue with that. Now this is in the highest setting for the cargo area, so let's actually drop this down. Ah, see, it's not designed. Doesn't really fit. See, it gets pinched, gets pinched back here. Just doesn't fit correctly. So this is actually designed to be up in the highest setting on top of those ledges there and these ledges right here. So that is one caveat of the 3D Max Spider floor mats. They're designed to be up higher. So we're gonna lift this back up again. Awesome, I like it like it a lot. All right, everybody. Well, I hope that helps you out if you were deciding whether or not to get the frunk and the cargo area floor mats for your Mustang Mach-E. As you can see, they fit very well where they're intended and they're very easily removable if necessary. Of course, the only issue with the rear cargo mat, as we saw, is that it doesn't sit completely flush if you have it on the lower level, the floor of the cargo area. If you have the cargo area on that, the higher tier, the second tier up, everything seems to work out perfectly and the mats are designed to sit there in the Mach-E. So still very good product. I love it. It's gonna stay in this car forever and it's gonna protect my interior. That is why I love 3D Max Spider floor mats for the vehicle. So now I have not only the front, the cargo area, the front and rear seats, and everything is now protected as far as the floor goes. So I'm excited to have this to my car, and I hope you are looking into getting some more of that floor protection in your vehicle. If you haven't seen the floor mats for the front and the rear of the passenger area, go ahead and hit that link right up here. That'll bring you to that video. I want to thank you very much again for watching. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button just below the video. If you aren't a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. If you're an EV enthusiast, and you love Mustang Mach-E's, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos in the near future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button for this channel. You can check us out on our website, techmotoring.com, on Twitter at techmotoring, facebook.com slash techmotoring. Thanks again for watching, and remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to Tech Motoring. And we'll see you on the next episode.